what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back if you are new here welcome to my channel where i talk all things beauty fashion fitness and wellness so if that is something you are into and you enjoy empties videos like we are going to be doing today then go ahead and hit that subscribe button take two seconds to look to your bottom right and make sure you press that red button okay because i promise all my girlies love it here you will too so without further ado y'all let's jump into today's empties video this empties is primarily just all of my february empties so i will just say this is my final winter empties of 2022 slash 2023 so my next empties video will probably be like a spring empties i think i'm kind of going to move to more of a seasonal empties type of vibe because doing them every month can be a little overwhelming for me just because i feel like i have to use things up at a faster rate so i don't know i like to just use things leisurely when i feel like it and y'all know i've had a lot of newer products in the rotation in the past couple of months so i actually think i did really really good for the month of february and a little bit of january so let's go ahead and start with the candles now if you guys did not know bath and body works is having a candle sale right now this weekend i don't know that i'm going to participate i did pick up the two exclusive um candle vault drops or whatever the new candles limited edition ones that came out the big shop so i will be talking about those in a separate video but i don't know if i'm going to be doing a big huge candle haul you guys i'm kind of in a space of i really just want to use up my collection you guys know i am all about that i really don't like having a huge candle collection like i used to back in the day so when i go crazy during sas and all these sales stocking up on candles it's usually because i go on a no buy for months afterwards so my plan right now is I may pick up one or two candles here and there, but I think I'm primarily going to be going on a candle no buy until summer semi-annual sale because y'all know I find so many 75% off candles during semi-annual sales. So that is my plan. That is what I will be doing. But yeah, let me just show you guys what candles I emptied last month. Oh child. Okay, so this is a lot. The first candle that I emptied is the Caramel Cream Soda. This is actually one that I picked up from this past winter semi-annual sale. And I really like this one, you guys. I really like the scent um i wouldn't say this is beast mode or anything but i do usually pick this up when i see it just because i really really like it it's just a bubbly you know creamy citrusy type scent and you guys know i love sweet citrus scent so i do think this one smelled really nice i would probably still repurchase it especially for 75 percent off because you just can't beat that price so finished a wild berry jam donut this is another just easy candle for me that i really really like it is a fruity kind of buttery pastry type of scent similar to like berry waffle cone and things like that so i like this one as well this one wasn't beast mode either honestly i feel like a lot of my bath and body work scents i've told you guys before where i currently live i have really high ceilings so it's hard for me to get a good throw from candles but i don't really mind it i usually burn two candles at a time in my kitchen so yeah i did still enjoy this one even though it was a little bit light i also burned a pineapple passion fruit this one was okay again it was super super light and faint but it was a nice juicy pineapple-y sweet type of scent this one kind of gave me you know summer vibe i also finished a banana walnut muffin i love this one you guys from what i can remember this one had a really great throw it was a very nice banana bakery scent where the banana wasn't like overwhelming because i don't really like candles that have more banana than they do like the sweet pastry note like i'm not a fan i'm not a huge fan of banana scents where i want the banana to take over so yeah i feel like this one was a really nice version of that this was a nice way for them to do the banana um like bakery scent it just smelled like banana bread so love that one also finished a cuddle weather this one you guys really surprised me i love this one i also really love the wallflower i think i emptied a wallflower in here as well but yeah this surprisingly y'all this is like a gingerbread tea scent but for some reason this reminds me of the fenty holiday butter drop the cinnamon one like I don't know they smell very similar to me especially in the wallflower so i really really loved this one also from that same collection of the pineapple passion fruit i finished a coconut lime verbana i think i burned this one in my bathroom and this is just a nice tropical sweet lime scent this is kind of what i'm hoping the new skylar lime sands scent smells like because i really really do like this and i know we used to have this from Bath and Body Works and Body Care a really, really long time ago, but it was discontinued. So yeah, I am definitely a fan of this scent as well. I really do hope that is what that new Skylar perfume smells like. This is sweet lime and vanilla scent. Yeah, it was pretty light in the candle, but again, 
I'm not really expecting be smoke candles from Bath and Body Works anymore at this point, unfortunately. So emptied this Palo Santo. This was another surprising like for me. Um, I do burn Palo Santo in my house, so I'm kind of familiar with the smell, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like it in a candle because I know sometimes these type of like incense woody scents can be a little overpowering and give me a headache. But I did really like this one. It just kind of gave me that earthy, like, you know, herbal type of scent, but it was also kind of fresh. So yeah, I like this one. It didn't have like a burnt smell or anything like that. And I did really enjoy it. Also finished a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This is one that I pick up every single year. It always smells amazing. It's always a great performer. Just a very ooey gooey sweet marshmallow scent, like cinnamon and nutmeg. It just smells really good, really cozy, very gourmand. Another surprising like. Um, also, you guys, if y'all can't tell by this whole, I don't know that I'm a fan of the wraparound candle labels like this anymore because like this one, the um, pistachio and toasted vanilla one um, that everyone was going crazy about that y'all know I love. I did a whole, a whole review on that candle, but... Yeah, the ones with these wraparound labels, y'all, I don't know that I like them because they burn so hot and this starts to melt off. So yeah, I was not a fan of that, but the cozy cashmere scent itself, I did really, really like. It was another kind of like herbal, fresh, but slightly sweet scent. So I really like this one. Burned through a wild berry tea spritzer. This also smelled really, really good. It reminds me of um one of the new victoria's secret splash body mist where it just kind of has this refreshing fruity like thirst quenching tea note so yeah i really like this one as well so burned through one of the candle day exclusive the sugared blueberry the sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar i do like this one as well i really really like the mixture of the blueberry in there and also um at my store which my bath and body work store is right now i don't know if these are out everywhere but i did see a few weeks ago that the sugared lemonade is back for spring so i will be picking one of those up because the sugared lemonade scent itself i do really really like so yeah i was very excited to see that pop back up also burned through a strawberry snowflakes you guys probably saw this because i think i made like a reel where i was burning this next to the next candle that i'm going to talk about but y'all i love this candle this candle was so bomb. It was beast mode. It smelled literally, I think this honestly smelled better than the body care of Strawberry Snowflake. Definitely smells very like close to or like inspired by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Like I definitely get more of a gooey like marshmallowy note in here. But yeah, I love this candle, you guys. I really wish I got more. Vanilla Snowflake, you guys know I was loving this one as well. This is just a very coconutty, slightly icy, like it literally smells like a vanilla coconut snowflake like i don't know how they did that but you can literally smell like water crystals or like ice crystals or something it's so weird how they captured that but yeah i really really like this one this was a little bit lighter but i did still really like the scent so it burned through this cranberry orange seltzer i loved this one especially the scent that i decided to burn with it it was a bomb bomb combo you guys like probably one of my favorite candle combos ever but yeah this is just a nice i smelled more of like the fizzy orange than i did the cranberry but yeah i really really like this this smelled really good another one i wish i got some backups of as if you guys watched any of my valentine's day content you probably saw me burning this one this is the positively sweet the dark chocolate truffles this is the one that i burned with the orange cranberry seltzer y'all that combo was so good it literally together they smelled like this candle that was um discontinued the orange chocolate truffle do y'all remember that it had like the orange little like christmas mitten on it or whatever i was obsessed with that candle like if y'all were following me during that time on here i was like stockpiling that candle it was a few years ago but yeah as i burned through 15 candles that is a really really good number for me i love to burn my goal usually per month is to burn at least 10, but somewhere between 10 and 20, like that's my sweet spot that lets me know I'm going through my candle collection at a good pace. So going forward towards semi-annual sale, I do want to make sure I'm burning like 15 or 20 a month just so that I have enough space to stockpile for semi-annual sale again. So, and then I did, um, I only burned through three wallflowers, you guys. I actually took all of my wallflowers out last month because I was getting a lot of migraines and typically you guys, 
I do normally get migraines, but a lot of times fragrance can trigger migraines. So when I feel like I'm getting a lot of migraines back to back, I typically will unplug all of my wallflowers. I won't burn any candles and I'll wear like more vegan clean perfumes just so that I'm not further triggering my migraines. So I really did not burn a whole lot of wallflowers, but the ones that I did burn, I burned the Cozy Apple Spice. This one was okay. It didn't smell like amazing or like different that I would feel the need to repurchase it. Um, but the Cuddle Weather, I would definitely, definitely, definitely repurchase. I know some of my stores still have some of these, so I might try to stock up, but the seasons are changing, so I probably won't really be in the mood for a gingerbread scent anyway. And then the last one is the Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla. Um, I also burned through a warm apple pie. I believe I was burning the warm apple pie and the salted butterscotch vanilla together and they smelled amazing. So yeah, those are just my last <laughs> like fall vibe, winter vibe type of wildflowers. So now everything else that I'm gonna burn is probably gonna be more, you know, fresh, clean, fruity, you know, that kind of vibe. So yeah. Let's get into this bag. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of skincare and makeup, which by the way, you guys, if you are enjoying this, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, everything will be linked in the description box below so that you can easily shop. But anyways, the first item is going to be the Garnier Micellar Water. This is my go-to micellar water. I prefer this one over all of the new ones that they have released. I prefer this one over the waterproof one. Something about the waterproof one, there's like some oil in there. I don't know. I don't like how that one takes off my makeup, but this one I love as a first step in my makeup removal routine. If I don't have any oil cleansers available, I do prefer to do an oil cleanser first. But if I don't, or if I'm just feeling lazy and don't want to deep cleanse my face, which I know, girl, it's a big no-no, but sometimes you really want to just go straight to sleep. So sometimes I will just hit my face with a good few swipes of micellar water and get all the makeup off. La Roche-Posay, this is the purifying foaming cleanser. I love this, you guys. I will 100% repurchase this. I do have another daily cleanser that I need to finish first, but I will for sure repurchase this. This was just nice and gentle on my face. It gave a nice lather and I just love that it had a pump. I actually kept this in my shower. So I use it in the mornings when I was doing my morning showers and this brand, you guys, is just really, really good in general. So yeah, I love this. this was more this was more of like my morning cleanser then this is the la roche posay effaclear cleanser so this is more for like acne prone skin blemish prone skin and this is the one that i would use at night and i do feel this did a really really great job at like keeping my breakouts at bay or clearing up any breakouts that i currently had so yeah it is in a newer packaging now i think it's like in a white tube or something like that but it is the same formula also finished this polish choice niacinamide um treatment so this is a 20 percent niacinamide serum so i do really really like the results and overall i do really really like polish choice as a brand the only thing is you guys i feel like i've gotten similar or even better results from more affordable niacinamide based serums while i did really like this i think for the price and how much i paid for it and compared to what's actually in here I probably would not repurchase this unless it was like a sale going on at Sephora or something like that, which by the way, I did apply for the 2023 Sephora squad. So if you want to vote for me and leave me a testimonial, I would greatly appreciate you guys because every single little word helps. I'll leave that link in the description box below. And if you guys have already voted, you can also submit an additional entry from what I was told. So if you feel inclined, girl, I greatly appreciate your support. Also finished two packs of my Curology spot treatments. You guys can pick these up at Target, Curology did used to be an online exclusive subscription service, but they are now widely sold at Target. So love, love, love that. And like I have told you guys before, I think I emptied some of these in my last empties video, but I really, really enjoy these. I think that these are really great spot treatments and I use them a lot if I feel a pimple forming, especially around that time of the month. So yeah, I went through a bunch of these. Also emptied another pack of my Honey Pot wipes. These are my go-to wipes. I use them on my face as well. I use them on my body. I use them pretty much everywhere. Wipe my hands off with them. Like I go through these pretty fast. So I think this was the last pack that I had from the last time I stocked up on these. So I will probably be grabbing a few more. And I also finally finished this old bottle of tin skin now before i started using 
like the first aid beauty ingrown hair pads and things like that this was like the og okay for ingrown hairs for things like that dark marks like just you know shaving bumps razor bumps this was like my go-to girl i really it took me a while to finish it because like i said i've been getting laser lately in the areas that i'm ingrown prone so i really have not needed it but i went ahead and used it up y'all and i would definitely recommend this i think this is also sold now at target also emptied this ruby kiss hydrating lip oil you guys i will try to find a link for this but honestly i usually pick this up from my local beauty supply store and this is just one of my favorite hydrating lip glosses honestly i usually stockpile this and have like 10 at my disposal not even kidding because i keep some in my car in my purse like just by my bed this is just a very nourishing hydrating lip oil i know sometimes when i wear lip glosses i have to put like a lip balm underneath it to make sure my lips are moisturized and that the gloss isn't just sitting on top but this doubles as both so i love this this is the tree hut sugar lips lip butter now this i got in a target haul like a few months ago but i finally got around to using this up and y'all this smells so good it gives my lips a nice moisturizing gloss as well but this just smells amazing i think it's mango or something i don't even know what the scent is y'all but this smells so incredible like to the point where i was sitting next to my mom at dinner and i put this on and she was like oh my god what did you just spray it smells so good like and yeah it was this so i definitely really really love this i would for sure repurchase it i hope they have this in like some other flavors but y'all know i love tree hut anyway so yeah definitely 100 percent recommend this and then we have a few makeup items so i emptied another one of my rare beauty always an optimist four in one setting mist so this is a setting mist as well as a priming mist etc etc and I went through one of these in my last empties y'all and I like ran to the store to pick up another one and I literally just left from Sephora to get another one like I'm addicted to this this is definitely my favorite setting mist I use it before I apply my makeup I use it after I put my makeup on I feel like it just really completely sets my face and just makes all of my makeup blend together very very well so even if I finish an application and I feel like it doesn't look great if i spray this on i just feel like it makes my makeup look so much better and more complete so yeah definitely gonna keep repurchasing this also finished two more glosses from one of my favorite lip gloss lines so these are both the nyx butter gloss as you guys can see i love a good baby doll pink gloss so these are in the colors vanilla cream pie and eclair i usually use eclair quite a bit vanilla cream pie I feel like I didn't love this one as much, but they're both kind of those milky baby doll pink. So I usually would wear these on top of a lipstick because I didn't completely love how they looked on their own, but this is what they kind of look like. If you guys can see, they're just kind of those milky baby doll pink. So I really, really enjoyed these, but I do have a bunch of other NYX butter glasses that I need to go through. So I will not be repurchasing these as of now. <laughs> also finished this Timu eyebrow pencil, which surprisingly, you guys, I loved this okay so i will link that timu video up at the top because that is where the direct link is for this eyebrow pencil i cannot find it right now so i will just link my timu video up at the top but yeah you guys this was like a dark brown and honestly this is literally a dupe for the anastasia um beverly hills brow wiz but i love this i think i actually like this one a little bit more than that one and this one was only two dollars so yeah i'm definitely going to be buying a few more of these from timu for sure i finished a couple of my go-to lipstick babies but y'all i've had these for so long it was time for them to go i finished one of the mac honey love you can't even see it girl that's how old it is but this is what the color looks like it's just kind of like one of those mauve nudes so i love this this is like one of my signature go-to nude colors then i also finished diva which i just know what the name is because i use it so often but this is what diva looks like it's just kind of one of those like mulberry wine reddish brown colors that i use a ton in the fall and as you guys can see even though it's technically spring i usually wear those same type of lip colors year round i'm just a neutral girl i love a dark vampy lip as you guys can see so yeah i was very happy to finally empty this because i do have a few other color lipsticks that are similar in my collection that i do really need to go through so while these both are my faves i just have some other ones that i need to use up now so yeah then the last makeup item that i used up you guys was one of my favorite drugstore blushes ever and i'm just so sad 
to see it go and to see that I hit pan on it, but it really was time for me to finish using it up. I'm honestly probably going to pick up another one just to have, because this is literally like my go-to pink. But this is the Milani Baked Blush. This is in the color Dolce Pink. I know y'all are probably like, girl, that's not empty. That's empty to me, because if my brush is not picking it up evenly, it needs to go ahead and go in the trash. But yeah, this is just a perfect baby doll shimmery pink on me, and I just love the formula. I have heard that they have like, change the formula so this is an older one i don't know what's different about the new formula but i will eventually try it out and see what's changed but this was just literally my go-to blush now let's jump into some supplements and things like that so i did finish two packs of these which one of them was actually sent to me in pr so i will be doing a dedicated video to this brand soon when I have some time. It's just been a crazy month. But these are the Onyx and Rose Morning Person CBD gummies, but these do also contain caffeine as well. So I have been using these, you guys, to really replace my coffee in the morning because one gummy has 50 milligrams of caffeine in it. So I feel like it's just enough to wake me up, but not leave me feeling jittery and anxious. And if you guys did not know the benefits of CBD, they are very, very good for people who deal with anxiety, inflammation, chronic issues, and things like that. So like I said, I will be doing a full on review on the brand because I have been using this brand for years and years. So I'm very happy that I do now work with them. So if you want to support me and shop my link directly, I will have a link in the description box below as well as my discount code so you guys can purchase some of their products. But yeah, one of these was sent in PR and then as soon as I finished it, I bought another one and I finished it. So that just lets you know I love these. Also from Onyx and Rose are these Goal Getter Mushroom Capsules. So these are a blend of mushrooms and they are totally legal mushrooms. They're not psychoactive. These are more of like the lion's mane, the cordyceps, like the mushrooms that help with your cognitive functions, just focusing. Like these paired with those gummies, you guys, I felt so awake and alert throughout the day, just focused, not jittery. Like I just felt very good. I just felt very clear headed. Like I was not feeling anxious as much. So yeah, I would 100% purchase these again as well but I do have another bottle of that they sent me of their other mushroom capsules that I'm working on finishing right now so once I finish those I will kind of determine which ones I like the most and then probably repurchase those so yeah these Ozo cranberry urinary tract health pills I have talked about these in a few empties at this point so I do usually prefer to get the larger bottle I usually get the larger bottle from Amazon but if for some reason I run out and I don't feel like ordering from Amazon I'll just pick this one up from Target it's like five or six dollars but yeah if you don't like the taste of genuine tart cranberry juice which is the best for you like not the cranberry juice cocktail that has a bunch of sugar in it because that kind of defeats the purpose of taking cranberry juice but if you don't really like the taste of real cranberry, this definitely does the job when you drink it with a giant glass of water. I'll finish another container of chlorophyll. I feel like this is something else that I regularly finish because this is a part of my daily vitamin supplement routine. Y'all, I will still be doing a video on what vitamins that I take every day. It's just a lot going on in my life right now. And I have a lot of other content that I have to post before I post that. So it's still coming. Please bear with me. But yeah, I take chlorophyll literally every single day. It helps with clear skin. It helps with digestion. It helps with like just being a natural deodorant inside of your body so that you don't have BO. It helps with bad breath. Like Girl, it just does a lot. It does a lot, okay? It helps, it's a natural source of energy. Like I'm always talking about chlorophyll. If I'm not, if I'm not using the pills, I usually use the actual liquid and I'll just put it in my water for the day and it just turns the water all green and it just makes you feel healthy when you're drinking it, girl. So yeah. So finish another Love Wellness Good Girl Probiotics. You guys know this is like my go-to probiotic brand. I just love this brand lately. Like just for vaginal health overall, they have so many different supplements and things like that for this brand that I just love. I'm pretty sure it's woman owned as well, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. But yeah, I love this brand. I have a bunch of products that I regularly use from them. I finished a bottle of turmeric curcumin as well. Um, this is really good for muscle health, bone health. If you find that you have a lot of joint pain and things like that. Like since I work out and I lift weights, I do find that I have a lot of soreness in my knees and things like that. So this definitely helps with my recovery of my joints after I'm lifting weights and things like that. Also finish this oil of oregano. This is another supplement that I take very regularly to combat 
any type of sickness and things like that. So especially like and all the other stuff going around, girl, I do not skip this, okay? This literally, if you even feel the slightest sickness coming on, you double up on a dose of this and you are good. So yes, I swear by oil of oregano. I also finished two women's multivitamins. Now, these are both from probably my favorite vitamin brand. The only difference is this is the vitamin code raw one for women, whereas this is just the vitamin code for women. And the difference is this one, you have to take four pills a day, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I think I just ordered this one on accident and meant to order this one, whereas you only have to take one a day. So if you are someone like me, I already take a lot of vitamins. So I just want to simplify it as much as possible. So I would rather just take one pill a day for my multivitamin, but this might be good for other people who don't take as many vitamins as I do so that you can split up your dosage so you're not getting a large dose at the same time. But either or, I just don't like having to take two in the morning and two in the afternoon because I always forget to take the second dose. So yeah, I much prefer this one for sure. Finished another sample of this Bye Bye Bloat from Love Wellness. I've mentioned this before, but I feel like with this product, you have to take a few doses of it to see a significant difference. So I don't know that this one serving really did much, honestly, but it does have some amazing reviews. So there's that. And y'all know, I talked about this before. This is my B12 patches from the Good Patch. On my days where I am trying not to have any caffeine, these are bomb. You literally put the patch on the inside of your wrist. And I promise y'all this gives me a nice clean energy for the duration of me wearing it. And then when you're done, you literally can just pull the patch off. So my only issue that I don't really like is I do notice that when I take the patch off, that area is a little bit red, but that could just be because I have sensitive skin. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really bother me enough to be like, I will never take these. The benefits definitely outweigh any of that. So yeah. Finish this Kiss Power Flex nail glue. You guys are always asking me to do a routine on how I put on my press on nails. I will do that hopefully soon at some point, but this is my go-to nail glue. I do not like using the nail glue that comes inside of the press on packs. It just sucks nine times out of 10. So I always use this. I picked this up from Target. It's the best nail glue that I have ever used. This little supplement is going to be the Excedrin Extra Strength. If you are a migraine girly like me, this is literally the only thing that I can take that knocks out my migraines y'all literally like i will forever repurchase etc this one and the one that actually says migraine literally work the exact same i've used both i don't think one works better than the other one so you can literally purchase this one or the red one and be totally fine and then i also finished the sun warrior vanilla protein powder this is my go-to protein powder okay i really don't like a whole lot of flavored protein powders because i always make protein smoothies with fruit. I feel like some flavors just don't taste good with fruit. So this is just my go-to that I literally always have on hand. It is vegan. I do prefer vegan protein powder just because whey protein makes me break out like crazy. So yes, if you are looking for a protein powder that is gentle on your stomach, girl, and you have aversions to whey like I do, I definitely recommend the Sun Warrior Protein in the vanilla flavor. Also, y'all, protein powder is just really good, not just for people who go to the gym, but if you have gaps in your meals or if you don't really regularly eat the way you're supposed to, protein powder is a necessity, okay? Even if you're going to the gym, girl, and you're trying to grow your muscle, you're not gonna grow muscle if you are missing out on your daily protein intake. So let's get into some hygiene to finish this off. This is gonna be so long, I already know, but y'all know how my empties are. So I did also finish these Dove Moisturizing Hand Sanitizing Wipes. I got these from Walmart. I think Target sells them now too, but I got these from a Walmart haul months ago and I really love these, y'all. I kept them in my car and these smell so good. It's like a very warm vanilla scent. I really, really enjoyed these. So I will for sure be repurchasing these. Finish this Kopari Organic Coconut Melt. And at first, you guys, it took me a long time to realize how I wanted to use this because this is basically 100% coconut oil. And I don't really like putting coconut oil on my body like that. I don't know why, but it's just the oil that I don't really like to use to moisturize. But I did actually start using this as an oil cleanser for my face. So I was using this to take my makeup off. And I actually really love Kopari's packaging because you can literally take this little insert out 
and reuse the jar for something if you would like but yeah i love this to remove my makeup i would probably only repurchase this if i see it in tj maxx or marshall's though because it is pretty pricey by itself i think i picked this up in my ulta diamond day haul last summer and it was a part of a set with the um with the scrub so i got it for a really good deal but otherwise i probably would not ever pay full price for this because it's basically just coconut oil also finished the trader joe's brazil nut body scrub you guys know this is a dupe for the cherosa 62 body scrub and i do feel like this one is definitely a lot more salty it doesn't have that same caramelly sweetness as the Chirosa 62 but it was only five dollars girl and I feel like for what you pay for it it was definitely a nice quality item I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while so I don't even know if this is still there honestly or what Trader Joe's has going on in the beauty section but I do need to check them out and see what might be out for the spring so finish this beloved strawberry and brown sugar body scrub if you guys watched my most recent little Target short, I did haul a bunch of their new scents. I've already reviewed what their new scents smell like. So definitely check that video out. I will link it up at the top. But I pretty much mentioned to you guys, I really don't like their body scrubs. And that is why it took me so long to finish this because I'm pretty sure I got this like last summer or something. And I love the scent of this. It literally reminds me so much of Strawberry Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. But... I just don't like the scrub. It just has these very tiny little beads that don't seem to wash off completely. It literally reminds me of the Dove body polish and I don't like the Dove body polish either. I feel like if I'm using something that's supposed to exfoliate, it needs to have more of a coarse consistency like tree hut scrubs and things like that. So yeah, love the scent, love this brand. I just don't like their body scrubs. Finish this Onyx Bathhouse Treat Yourself. This is the candied pumpkin body scrub i did really really like this one as well this was from halloween so girl if you want this you're probably gonna have to wait till next year but it did smell really really nice and then i finished up tree huts watermelon scrub y'all the whole watermelon line is just the bomb i love the shave oil the body butter the new foaming body wash like it literally just smells like watermelon jolly ranchers watermelon gummy bears like it just smells so good and y'all know I love Tree Hut as a whole anyway so I probably won't be repurchasing this right away because I have so many Tree Hut scrubs that I need to start going through right now but I love this scent and highly recommend it especially since the warm weather is approaching. I'll finish this Olay um, Fresh Outlast Orchid in Black Current Body Wash. Honestly y'all I kind of forgot what this smells like. Yeah, it smelled pretty nice. I don't think the scent lingered all that much for me to be like, oh my God, I would love to repurchase this. So I don't know. This was okay for me. It did smell really, really nice, but I don't think it was memorable enough for me to want to repurchase it. So yeah, Olay is always a nice brand. I just would probably try something different, but this did smell pretty nice. Rest Shea Butter and Brown Sugar. You guys know this is one of my go-tos from them. I love this scent. It's just so nice and warm and cozy and I just love this type of scent profile. I actually found like a bunch of gift sets with this and the um, the other scents that look similar to this. I can't think of it right now, but I found a bunch of these on clearance, my last Target clearance haul from this past holiday season. So I do not need to repurchase this at all because I do still have pretty much four bottles of Caress um, body washes that I need to use up. This is my go-to body oil. This is the Palmer's Skin Therapy Oil. You guys, I love this oil. I rave about it. I talk about it all the time. If you love that very sweet cocoa butter type of scent, I just love the scent of cocoa butter and shea butter. This just smells so good. It makes all of my scent combos smell that much sweeter and last that much longer. And it truly does lock the moisture into my skin. I prefer this over bio oil because this smells better and performs and moisturizes my skin way better. And it has pretty much the same exact qualities that bio oil does. So it helps with scarring and things like that. And I just love this one, you guys. So I will forever repurchase it. I already have a backup of this as well. Another Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming uh, Feminine Wash. This is another wash that I go through pretty much every single empties video. I will probably try to pick this up from Marshalls or TJ Maxx this go around because they are popping up there for a few dollars cheaper than what you would get them at Target for. But either way, this is still a pretty affordable feminine wash that I really, really like and it does not irritate me. So finish a strawberry pound cake hand cream. We all know and love her. I do feel like the hand cream smelled a little bit weird. I just think 
the body creams in general this year just had kind of a weird smell but and then they also were super super yellow so i don't know what that was about but i did enjoy this hand cream i did really really like the smell and it wasn't too too off so i was able to use it up finished a peach prosecco macaroon body cream you guys i love this scent it is definitely like a peach cookie type of scent it just smells so sweet. It's a genuine peach smell. Also get tons of compliments whenever I wear this scent as well. So I think I have a couple more body creams backed up, honestly. But I will be going through my body creams at a much faster rate since if you guys have watched any of my declutter videos, y'all know. I have been decluttering tons of body creams because they have just been expired. So I will definitely not be buying as many body creams this year and I will be trying to focus more on using those up. This is Gold Bond Ultimate Overnight Body Cream. Y'all, this is literally, I use this on my feet at night. This is the only body cream that I have used that genuinely penetrates and moisturizes my feet. Like this is absolutely amazing on my feet. If you have rough hands, it's amazing on your hands. Like. This is just really good, you guys. I definitely recommend this for sure if you have very, very dry skin. Finish another one of my CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotions. Y'all, I think I go through these so fast because I use, my, I use this on my body and my face. I use this as like my unscented body lotion to apply like my oils or other combos to. And I use this on my face as well because my face really, really loves this stuff. Like it helps to fade my dark marks and everything. I don't know why, but something about just simplicity y'all like my face really just responds the best to so yeah love this well for every purchase i think i actually have a huge giant bottle already backstocked of this so i don't need to repurchase it right now so finish a peach prosecco macaroon shower gel yes y'all y'all know how hard it is for me to go through my shower gels and i finished a few so I do have a bunch of like really new shower gels and body care in general that I have been using. So that is why I didn't use up a bunch of Bath & Body Works products, but I am trying to put more of a focus on that over the next few months. So yeah, I'm very proud that I at least finished one full size shower gel and one body cream. Also finished this little mini of the Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. Y'all, I finally figured out what this smells like. If you guys watch my Arabian Perfume rating video definitely check that out up top but this smells like camera to me this literally smells like camera like now that i smell them side by side i cannot get that out of my head so yeah the pocket back of this the hand soap like it literally smells like camera so if you were wondering what that perfume smells like it smells like bath and body works ice cinnamon roll in this box you guys this is the fenty skin hydra visor this is one of my favorite moisturizing sunscreens it literally takes the guesswork out so you don't have to figure out if you can use a certain moisturizer with sunscreen and vice versa it's also very lightly scented y'all know i just love fenty skin products but yeah that is definitely my go-to moisturizer i loved it and then in here i have some some perfumes that I finished up so we're going to start with Little Miss Coco Paradise you guys know I'm totally obsessed with this scent this year I do feel like that the perfume definitely smells a little bit better and stronger than the body mist so I would definitely opt for you guys to like use your rewards on the smaller perfume pin as opposed to the fine fragrance mist but I do like both of them I just feel like this just lasts longer and projects a little bit more but this is just such a sexy beachy summery vibe like literally you smell like a bronze tanned goddess on a beach it just smells so amazing to me you guys it truly smells amazing i'm just totally obsessed with this scent if you love coconut scents you love orange blossom type of like neroli citrusy scents this is definitely a scent that you should check out this summer for sure. And then I also emptied this Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes. This is also kind of one of those salty, beachy, tropical type of scents. Um, like I consider this to be kind of like a lighter version of like Paco Rabanne's Olympia, but honestly, I prefer Paco Rabanne's Olympia, especially for the price of Juliet has a gun. Like I feel like this did not last that long on me and while it did smell good it didn't smell super different or strong to where i would purchase a full-size bottle of this so yeah that is my thought those are my thoughts on that fragrance finish this mini of prada paradox i do actually have a full-size bottle of this so i will get around to wearing that more hopefully next month or the next time i do like a perfume tray or whatever that is something that I do see as more of like a springy summery type of scent but it's just another one of those classic like kind of 
like along the lines of like Armani My Way, a little bit of like Valentino Donna Born in Roma, just kind of those pretty sparkling bubbly type of girly scents. And this one, you guys, definitely gives me a good like eight hours of wear. It lasts super long on me. So I definitely think this would be a nice, easy reach. Or if you're trying to get into florals, but you don't want to overdo it and you still want something kind of sweet, I definitely think this is a great option. Also finished a mini of the Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. You guys know I already own this. So I really, you know, just emptied this just for the hell of it. But y'all know I really, really do love this oil. And lastly, I finished a Skylar vanilla sky mini travel size which y'all know I already own that as well that is just a very nice creamy soft you know vanilla cappuccino type of scent it's just so nice and warm and comforting it's definitely not beast mode but it is a perfect easy reach for when you do want those gourmand scents but you don't want it to be to beast mode so yeah and then there was one I did not have a case for sorry this is Killian's rolling in love you guys this is definitely going on my perfumes that I want to add to my collection list this is definitely like one of those very doughy almondy sweet scents like along the lines of hypnotic poison by dior but less artificially sweet it's almost kind of like a cleaner almond it's still sweet but i don't know something about this just really did well on my skin i really really loved it so i will for sure be picking that up at some point and adding it to my collection okay you guys that is it for this long 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 empties i hope you guys enjoyed it this will probably be my last empties for the next couple of months i don't know we'll see how it goes but yeah i hope you guys got some ideas i hope you guys saw some products you might want to try let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video bye